everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Today's recipe, I will show you how I make this delicious turkey stew. I have the turkey nicely clean and cut. I will season with peppers, diced onions, bay leaves, curry powder, thyme, season powder, salt. I will mince them together. I'll be leaving the turkey to marinate overnight. You can also start cooking it right away. It's totally up to you. I'll cover it, put it in the refrigerator, bring it out when I'm ready to use it. Next ingredients, I'll be using some bell peppers, peppers, tomatoes, onions, garlic, thyme, curry powder, bay leaves. I will be cutting the tomatoes. I like to cut them before you so I can see if there is any one that is bad inside it. I will cut the bell peppers, take out the seeds and the veins. I'll cut the garlic so it will be easy to take out when it's ready. And I have everything arranged in a baking pan. I'll be baking them in the oven before use. I'll sprinkle in some oil. You can also blend them, cook it before you use it. I'll bake it for about 30 minutes. So they are out of the oven. This smells amazing. I'm just going to allow them to cool a bit then transfer them into the blender and I'll also be peeling off the garlic. I will add the peeled garlic, ginger, and I'll blend. The turkey is out of the refrigerator. To that, I will add garlic and ginger paste. I'll cover it and leave it to cook in its own juice on a low heat for 10 minutes. So it's been 10 minutes. I'll give it a quick stir. Add enough water to cook the talking. I'll cover and cook until it is ready. So the turkey is been cooking now for about 25 minutes. I checked and they are ready. In a pan, I will add some oil. Allow the oil to heat up. I will add garlic and onions to flavor the oil add the turkey fry the turkey you can also air fry the turkey or even bake the turkey as well so once it's ready on one side flip it to the other side Once they are golden brown, I'll take them out of the hot oil and repeat the process until all of the turkey are fried. The turkey is nicely fried. I'll put that aside. In a pot, I'll add some of the oil I used in frying the turkey and I have strained the oil. Once the oil is hot, 
I'll add some diced onions. Stir fry the onions for about a minute or two. Next, add the blended pepper mix. I'll rinse the blender with a little bit of water and add it. Give it a quick stir. I'll be leaving it to fry for about 10 to 15 minutes without adding any other thing at this point. I'll just cover it with a splatter guide. It's been 10 minutes. I'll take off the cover, give it a very nice stir. If you're using the pot cover to cover it, don't cover it all the way so the stew can fry nicely. I will add the turkey stock, bay leaves, thyme, curry powder, seasoned powder, salt, and stir. Be sure to cook the stew on a low heat so it doesn't get burnt. I will cover it and leave it to fry a bit. At this point, the oil has started to settle on top. I'm going to be skimming off some of the excess oil. Once you notice oil starts to show on top of your stew like this, that is indication that the stew is well fried. You can also use the oil for other recipe as well. And you need enough oil to make your fry stew. It will make the stew taste very delicious and the stew will last long without going bad as well. Next, add the fried turkey. Give it a nice tear. You can taste, adjust the seasoning if needed. If you like your stew to be very light, you can loosen it up with some water or you can add some of the stock if you still have any left. This is the consistency that I am going for today. I'm going to cover it a bit and leave it to cook for another 10 minutes so that the stew can enter the turkey. So it's been 10 minutes and the stew is ready i just give it a very nice tear and this just smells amazing it was very very delicious you can enjoy your turkey stew with white rice yam bread anything of your choice if you give this recipe a try please do let me know send me your pictures on instagram i would love to see how yours came out Thank you all so much for watching. Remain blessed. I will see you in my next video.